What's up guys, this is Brent with 24-7 Parts. Now let's jump right on in and start talking about where all of the grease points are on your John Deere 1025R. Now, typically your 1025Rs are going to have a loader on them. If yours does not, then you can skip past this part, but we're gonna talk about where our loader grease points are first. Now, there are going to be six on each side of the loader. So here at the very front, we are going to have two here. Then we're gonna to move to the middle of the loader. We have two here. And then we're gonna to move to the back of the loader where it gets close to mounting up to the tractor. And we are gonna have two here as well. And then just remember, you have the exact same points that you have on the left-hand side over on the right-hand side. Now, the rest of our grease points are gonna be underneath the tractor. And what gets interesting here is you could have anywhere from four to nine grease points underneath this tractor, all depending on the age of your tractor and the setup of equipment you have. So on this machine here in all 1025Rs, you're gonna have power steering. So the first place we wanna look is our power steering cylinder. On some older models, you will have grease zerks at the point where the cylinder makes contact out here by the wheel, and then also at the other connecting point underneath the tractor. So we need to make sure and check both of those places. If we have those grease zerks, make sure that we're taking care of those. Now, our next four are gonna be on every single machine, and those are going to be on the two drive lines that you have underneath the tractor. The first drive line is going to be for your four wheel drives. So you're gonna see this long shaft here. It's gonna have a grease zerk up here towards the front that's gonna be covered by this rubber housing. So we're gonna to wanna to pull that back. We can get to that grease zerk to be able to grease that universal joint. Then we wanna follow that shaft all the way back. And there is going to be another U joint there that will have a grease zerk that we need to make sure and hit that as well. Now, next is gonna be our main drive shaft that is going to be up above our four wheel drive. This is going to have a zerk at the back here close to the transmission and then once we move up forward we are going to have another zerk here that's going to have a hole that goes through some sheet metal now if your machine is equipped with the drive over quick connect system for a belly mower you will have three more grease points here you're going to have one at the u-joint where it connects to that shaft underneath the machine one on the middle of the shaft and then one at the other u-joint where it connects to your deck shaft. Now, the next question is how often should I grease these? Now, it's gonna say in your operator manual every 50 hours, and I would say that is a good amount of time on all of the ones that we talked about underneath the machine. Now, on your loader, if you do a lot of loader work, you may wanna do this a little more often. Then you may also ask, what kind of grease should I use? Well, once again, it's gonna be recommended that you use John Deere SD Polyurea or the John Deere HD Lithium Complex Grease. So either one of those is going to work, but also whenever you think about about this as long as you are putting some type of grease and maintaining this machine you're usually going to be okay you just don't want to go too cheap something that's going to get worn out too easy so make sure that you're getting a good quality grease to put in these things now lastly any type of grease gun is going to work so whatever you've got laying around i would just highly recommend that you get that get a good tube of grease and make sure that you're taking care of this machine but if you want to know a little bit more about the john deere grease guns and john deere grease i've got videos over those that I'll make sure to drop down in the description below. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are looking for more videos like this, more how to's, more videos over different kinds of tools, make sure to check out the rest of the channel. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.